this. All right, so this rod is made up of two segments. One is steel, one is brass. It's fixed at its ends. It's got a torque of, three, of 680. Steel portion has that diameter. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Determine the required diameter of the brass portion. So AB is steel. BC is brass. Determine the required diameter of the brass portion so that the reactions at the walls will be the same, okay? So it's not exactly like the problem, the scenario I was putting up uh, a second ago. This one goes ahead and tells me if I've got this 680 and I want the uh, reactions of A and B or A and C to be the same, then the torque at A, this would be what? 340 and 340. So this is kind of a, a, not exactly the same, but so from statics, from statics, I got that the torque in A is 340 and the torque at C is 340 because they have to add up to zero with the 680. Uh, but in order to find the diameter, let's think about angle of twist. Let's think about our compatibility equation, right? Compatibility equation. So the angle of twist of section CB plus the angle of twist of section BA is going to need to add up to zero, right? It's going to need to add up to zero. The TL over GJ of that section, the TL over GJ of that section is going to add up to zero. What is the torque inside <clears throat> this brass section? I can tell it's going to be 340, but positive or negative. Positive or negative? What is the torque inside that brass section right here? Positive or negative 340? Negative 340, yes. Negative 340 Newton meters. The length to that section, 1.6 meters. There, we've got meters again. Let me can think about that, consider that. Uh, the G, 39 thousand MPA and then here pi by two here is my unknown R there is my unknown R now my first instinct is to maybe multiply this times a thousand and a thousand um, but I think I'm going to do the exact same thing to the next section. And I probably could have just divided or, you know, divided that. And since zero is on the right hand side of my equation, I could have gotten away with that. So now when I come over here to the steel section, what is the internal torque T inside the steel section? Positive 340 Newton meters. Its length is 0.75 meters. Uh, its value 75,000 MPa and pi by 2, 15 to the fourth. Adds up to zero. My, my un only unknown is my R. And so I, if I multiply the first term, also multiply this term, since we we got that zero on the right hand side of our equation. Probably could just factored it out of everything and divided it on the right hand side, which was zero. All right, then we've got R is equal to 21.35 millimeters. Question technically asked for the diameter 42.7 millimeters. So if that had a diameter of 42.7, then it would make the torques 340 on each side. All right, we made it. So that's all I've got.